Hey everybody, thanks again for joining me on my channel. Today we're going to be covering the Fusion 360 combined feature. Combined, like that's actually what it's called, combined. Uh, definitely stick around to the end. I have a pretty cool uh, project that I've worked on personally using this feature. And uh, yeah, I think you guys will enjoy seeing it. So we're going to switch over to the program. And you can see that I have these cubes. And we actually have two spheres. We have one on the inside here and then this one on the outside. We'll click on modify and we're going to go down to combine. So it's going to first prompt you with the target body. The target body is the body that is being acted upon, while the tool bodies are the ones that are acting on that body. So for the target body, we're actually going to first select this cube tool bodies. Let's just select this sphere right here. And you can see it's immediately assuming that it's wanting, we're wanting to cut just because of the overlap between those two bodies. Um, and so let's just click OK and see what it does. And you can see right there, it's kind of created a little bowl inside our cube. Um, but let's actually, instead of cutting it, let's go back and edit. And we're just going to join it. So by clicking join, it's now part of the same body. You can see we only have four bodies now rather than the five we had before. And we can even like now fill it and it's going to combine the two together. Last option we have is actually the intersect which is really cool because as you can see right now, it's taking what's overlapping between the two bodies and it is keeping just that, which is really, really awesome. But one of the other things we can do is we can also keep the tools. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back to cut and let's keep tools. So we're gonna be keeping the bodies that it's gonna be acting upon. So we'll click okay. And you can see the sphere's still here, it's still a body, um, but if I make it disappear, it still did its function of cutting this out. Now this is really, really useful to be able to do this, and I'll explain why with these three bodies over here. In fact, I'm just gonna turn these guys off so we aren't distracted by it. So with these, we have, again, we have these halves, and we have the sphere on the inside. So we're just gonna leave that kind of hidden for right now. We're going to combine, target body the block, tool body, we're gonna use a sphere, we're gonna cut, again, we're gonna keep the tools. Click OK. And we can see that's still there. Now we're going to, as we dis make this disappear, you can see it has a half circle left there. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. We're going to bring this other cube back and we're going to combine these two, doing the exact same thing. And I'll explain why this is such an important thing and, and feature in being able to do this. So as we make the sphere go away, we now have two halves, two spheres that you can see have this kind of cavity on the inside. The reason why this is a really useful feature, in fact, I'm gonna jump back over to me, um, is this is a great way to be able to make molds. Um, I had a project where I had this little, let's see if I can make it focus on it and not focus on my face. There we go. So there's a little like elbow joint, there's tubing on the inside, and this is the valve to open and close it. And I really wanted to make this piece not just 3D printed, but I actually wanted to injection mold it. And so I actually took this piece, this model, and with a polymer 3D printer, I actually was able to 3D print a mold similar to the sphere. Oh, wrong side. And then inject it with plastic to make a more injection plastic piece. Not the perfect, sorry, it's kind of wonky, not the perfect mold, but for my intents and purposes, it was really fun and it was the first time I was able to actually make a mold that I made, 3D print it, and then be able to test out a piece. I just used hot glue in this case, so I didn't need to have like any fancy injection molder, molding uh, tool. Um, but that is a great, great way that you can use this feature. You can make injection molds and test out parts, and it's just fun. And, and there's other reasons why you may want to. I would really, really love to, to hear down in the comments different uses that people have used for the combined feature, as well as if you've liked this video, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and like always, keep modeling. 